Welcome to the American Dream. Today we're here in Fort Lauderdale. We really want to bring attention to Broward County. Great chefs that are here, mixologists. Definitely impacted multiple artists' lives. This is a special house. And here's my favorite part. The search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got it. The American Dream, the only show that combats negative media, not owned by a network, commercial free, unscripted. I got it. These are stories for you and by you. Welcome to the American Dream. I'm Dan Walter, COO of Robert Slack. We've already seen the beautiful area of Jacksonville, all the way to Orlando and the Emerald Coast. Today we're here in Fort Lauderdale. We're gonna look at some of the art scene, the food. We're gonna see some great properties, entertainment, and everything that you might not know about Fort Lauderdale. We're also gonna go see some beautiful homes, go on a yacht, and probably end the day at the Kentucky Derby at Gulfstream Park. Come on with us, we're gonna have a great day. All right, coming up first, we're gonna check out the art scene here in Fort Lauderdale. Don and Kat are gonna be interviewing Evan Snow. They are revitalizing the entire art scene here in the Fort Lauderdale area, and you're gonna to wanna to see what they're doing. I'm gonna go back to the office. Let's go over and see what Kat and Don are doing. Thanks, Dan. I'm Kat Flanagan with Robert Slack, and here today I've got Don Weimer with me. He's gonna be introducing us to an exciting space here at Gulfstream Park called Zero Empty Spaces. Zero Empty Spaces is amazing. Evan Snow started Choose 954 about five years ago, and then about two years ago opened up Zero Empty Spaces throughout all of Broward County and now South Florida. And so I know you've got to uh, scoot over to the showing. So uh, I did want you to take a couple minutes and just meet Evan, take a look at the space. Excited, let's go check it out. Evan, my friend, how are you? Good to see you, good to see you, good to see you. Yeah, yeah, as well. Good to see you. Evan Snow, Kat Flanagan. Hey, nice to meet you, Evan. Evan started uh, Choose 954 and Zero Empty Spaces, and this is the spot, so you know, kind of take us around. She's got to scoot out because she's got a listing to go check sure. out, but I wanted to take a couple minutes and have her uh, take a look at things. Amen. Thanks so much, man, for showing the space. It is absolutely just tremendous what you've done. Share with us a little bit of how, how Zero Empty Spaces got started. I mean, what was what was the vision when you got it there? What brought you to this point? Sure, so throughout all of our arts advocacy initiatives, we developed a bunch of different relationships with artists and various people in the community alike. And we kept hearing from the artists uh, where are the studios at, let alone affordable. We got involved in the Real Estate Association and developers, property owners, brokers, property managers kept coming to us and say, hey, can you put our in our commercial space, we're driving around, we're looking at all this empty space. What if there was no more empty space? And what if it was being used for good for art? So uh, myself and my business partner came up with Zero Empty Spaces, which is an initiative to activate vacant commercial retail spaces on a month-to-month -month basis to make affordable artist studios at $2 a square foot with the water and the electric included. The artists have 24-hour access, definitely been something that we enjoy doing and continue to do in up to 18 locations now. So with the 18 locations, how many artists' lives have you impacted right now? Just through this program, over 150. Amazing. And it's really cool because an artist generally would not be able to take a long-term lease commitment on a full space like this. And because we subdivide spaces to 100, 150 square feet to keep it affordable, it's definitely impacted multiple artists' lives and we're really glad to be able to do that.
So show me around, so let's talk about some of the artists. Uh, this is a pretty good size space. It's about 6,000 square feet. So we have uh, studios for 18 artists here. So the artists actually create, I mean, here in, I mean, this isn't just stuff on display and for sale. I mean, they actually create things here in the, uh, in the studio, yeah? So these are working artist studios. This is where they do create it and they can also sell. We actually don't take a commission of what they sell at their studio. It really creates a unique activation for the shopping center, for the city at large. Uh, it's really helped people engage with the arts in ways that they've never engaged with arts before, which is really exciting for us. And so how many artists are in this location At the right moment, now? there's uh, 16 artists, pretty much all different mediums. We have some artists working here in the studio today. This is Alejandra Palacios, and yeah. you might recognize her work actually from uh, a lot of iconic images of Gulfstream Park of South Florida. Most of our spaces are wide open, cooperative spaces. Pablo's made great use out of, out of this space. What is the feedback from the retailers? People have gravitated and responded to it quite well, and the retailers love it, the shopping center developers love it, the city loves it. This problem of vacant commercial retail spaces, chronically vacant or otherwise, is not exclusive to South Florida. There was 90 million square feet of vacant commercial retail space in the country before COVID. And we're kind of here to connect the dots, to be that activation, to be that conduit, to make communities more colorful, more vibrant. So by having arts in the community, it serves a valuable purpose on multiple different fronts. You know, we're, we're excited to continue doing this for the rest of our lives. Awesome, what an advocate. Thank Good you seeing much, you, my man. friend. Yeah, appreciate it. Alrighty. Wow, what a beautiful day. I've got Matt Cole with me here from the Robert Slack team. He's gonna show us this gorgeous listing in Dania Beach, and I can't wait to hear about it, Matt. So, I mean, you walk in as soon as you see it, I mean, it's, it's different. The owner does custom woodwork, so you can see at every corner of the house, there's nice custom features from the floors, to the wood ceiling, to the molding. It's a great split floor plan. It's a two bedroom with an office. You know, in Florida, everybody, you know, what do you think of? You wanna live on the water. So what's awesome about this house is, it's affordable. It's, you know, you don't have to spend over a million dollars to be on the water, have a boat, and still have a beautiful custom home. Impact windows, upgraded appliances, masters over here. Beautiful wood floors in here. A lot of times in these older homes, you don't get closet space. I see two closets, two closets but that one's even a, a bigger closet. And what's really cool, I'll show you what the owner did. So you have the closet here, but we have Oh. The secret closet. A little secret spot. So somebody could just come in here, totally move right in. This is ready to go. We're, Upgraded. And we're, and we're close to everything. Close to the Hard Rock, we're close to the beach, we're close to the airports. Let's go check out the Got water. It. Absolutely. So Matt, I think a lot of people have no idea that you can get on water for under a million dollars. Tell me, what's the size boat? that you could fit back here? So you could put a, probably a 30 footer back here only because there's a fixed bridge. But one of the great things about living here specifically is this preserve. I mean, to have this kind of privacy, this kind of canal, you could put a beautiful boat and get out to the ocean in less than an hour. So the beauty of the preserve back here is that it's super private. You're never gonna have to worry about construction happening back here. You've got your own little private oasis. Absolutely. Living in Florida is all about being outside, being on the water. It really doesn't get any better. What you could do with this backyard, it's already beautiful. And having this kind of privacy um, on the preserve is really unbeatable. with Matt at the Dania Beach listing. And now we're gonna check out the Fort Lauderdale food scene at Cistern Marketplace, which is perfect timing because I've definitely worked up a hunger. We're gonna meet up with Don, who's inside. We're also gonna sit down and talk to the owners of the Food and Wine Festival. Why don't you go check out the food? I'm gonna go chat with Kate real quick. And uh, awesome, see you in a bit. Kate, my dear. 
We've known each other for a, more than a minute, the Greater Fort Lauderdale Food and Wine Festival. Let's talk about that. So share a little bit about, uh, about how you started that and, and where we are now. Started three years ago. We did a grand tasting, a series of events uh, throughout Broward County. Very successful. We had a great turnout. We really want to bring attention to Broward County. Great chefs that are here, mixologists, um, places like this. What was the whole mindset be behind getting that? I know we, we've had talks and, and for the longest time, the greater Fort Lauderdale area, not as prominent in the food scene, right? And, and something needed to change. Definitely. Um, the big issue that we've always had is that people go to Miami for great food, they go to Boca, they'll go to Palm Beach, but they don't come here. People leave here to go eat. And it doesn't make any sense because there are some amazing chefs and restaurants here. So that was really our focus was to try to get people here to stay here and realize what's here and then have other people travel to this area as a foodie destination. So, the, and, and the festival itself, that's just one major event, right? Three days, but then you also do smaller events throughout the year? Correct, so we do a week-long series of events. That is sometime in the spring, but then we also do events throughout the year. So one a month, whether it's a dinner or a class on how to make pizza, we do things throughout the county, throughout the entire year. What's been the impact? I mean, you know, obviously, Sistrunk is great. This is just a small piece of that, but you've really brought to light a lot of local chefs who wouldn't have otherwise had the exposure, right? Absolutely. Um, and we also like to connect different chefs and different people. So um, we have chefs that have met, and now they can do a dinner together, and they can collaborate. Whatever it may be, we connect people. So it has been great. We've brought a lot of attention to the area, and we hope to continue. And I know you were sharing some things about how this place got started and we were talking specifically about like the QR codes and how QR codes were kind of on the downturn and they leveraged this QR system specifically because of COVID. What? Absolutely. So the, the really intriguing thing about this is there are all of these different concepts, but you can scan a QR code and you can order from any of the concepts. They bring the food to you. You get to track when it's coming. So all of the different restaurants work together and the bar will bring you whatever you want and multiple people can order from the same code. So it's a really neat system. You don't have to get up. People wait on you. It's great. Awesome. Well, again, thanks for hooking us up and you and I are going to eat uh, a little bit of lunch in a here in a few minutes and uh, sounds great good seeing you again great seeing you too awesome. so tell me about where we are today we're in Parkland, which is in the, on the west side of Broward County and it's a real family community top a-rated schools, down to all the parks, golf courses, soccer fields. This is the place to live. From what I've heard, we're gonna get a little taste of what luxury living really looks like out in the suburbs. This is a special, special house, and it's not gonna take you long to see why once we get inside. Okay, great, let's check it out. Okay. This is a special house. So we're not talking about <laughs> this is a not, box build. This is not your typical builder special. From every built-in, from all the inlays in the ceilings to a solid wood trim everywhere. These tree ceilings with the lighting behind it. This all is the shelves were, were built in, the walls are built out. To me, the most amazing part about it, the owners did it all themselves. So it's impressive. Just the taste, the colors, the detail is just is just second to none. This is so impressive. And you know, one thing, every door, these doors are just uh, something else. So as you come in here, they built this bed. They did the drywall, they built it, they, they designed it, they did all the custom wood. This is all solid wood down here. The built-in on the television, the colors and the textures, even down to the detail of the lanterns next to the bed. It feels like I'm in a penthouse suite. A hundred percent. It's like in into the bathroom, you'll see it's like being in a spa. So all this woodwork was done by a company called M&M Woodworking. The quality of the materials, the workmanship, and just the detail. The <laughs> wallpaper behind, behind. It's just, the detail. It's just amazing. This whole wall really just really sets the stage as soon as you walk in. Every time I walk through this space, I see something new and exciting. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I don't know where to look. I know, <laughs> me too, I, absolutely. I mean, just look at this kitchen. So 
obviously everything in the kitchen has been redone. I mean, this beautiful waterfall island. You've got the gas cooking, kitchen yep. built for entertaining, the coffee bar, built-in appliances, and yep. storage galore. Yeah, and if you're oh, a chef- the woodwork continues in here too. Add a look at the woodwork above the cabinets, another beautiful built-in television, and you know, electric fireplace. It's just, I mean, well, I would never leave. Now more than ever, people are looking for homes to work from, homeschool from, perhaps enjoy an afternoon swim in the pool. You don't have to go anywhere. Absolutely, you could work, live, school in the home, and then on the weekends, you get to enjoy this backyard. It's like a five-star resort back here. Unbelievable. Uh, yep. Speaking of five-star resort, again, every single detail from the Tommy Bahama tile to the sparkle grout to the glass beads inside the Pebble Tech at the bottom of the pool. It's top of the line and hired the best. Ike's Carter, been in business over 70 years. The Infinity Edge, stools in the pool when you're sitting and having a nice cold cocktail. Maybe, man, I'm ready for a cocktail. <laughs> it is five o'clock I'd like to pull I up think. a bar stool right now. <laughs> I mean, I personally, me, the artificial grass trim, I mean, what a great touch. Got a 10 person jacuzzi. Yeah, they built these beautiful wood overhangs that feature misters, so keep you cool and the, a mosquito mister. And here's my favorite part. There is nothing like an outdoor shower. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little private tropical oasis. So Matt, tell me about this incredible landscape package. The owners are very, very hands-on in design, but they also hire the best. So extreme landscaping, handle the landscaping, and you can see they did an amazing job bringing the homeowner's vision to life. When I look around the other properties in the community, it has nice landscaping, but they're very small compared to what is back here, bringing about this tropical sanctuary. You'll notice the faux grass wall is really cool. Just these, all these little details, I would never even think to put these in or, or ask for them, but they, yeah. they look so beautiful. And even the wood trim around the windows to match the beautiful wood inlay in the ceiling. I mean, just something else. Matt, thank you so much for meeting and showing us this incredible property today. Today for our Mortgage Minute, we have Gary Crowder with Florida Funding. A common question we always get from buyers is, what's my interest rate going to be? How easy is that question to answer? We don't always know, just at first glance, what a client's interest rate's gonna be. There's so many factors that go into determining that interest rate. How much money are they putting down? What type of property are they buying? What the occupancy type is? Is it a primary residence, a second home, or a, an investment property? So really our job is to make sure we're asking those questions versus arbitrarily just giving interest rates without knowing our clients. Is there anything they should be prepared to provide you in order to find out what interest rate they'll be eligible for? Well, well, typically the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask them to fill out an online loan application so I understand them and their scenario. And from that, I'll typically ask them for backup documentation regarding their income, their assets, we'll check their credit. And those are the type of factors that we need to evaluate as far as really truly quoting an interest rate versus being the average person that just says your interest rate is X. Great information about interest rates. Thank you so much for joining us today and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Kat. Las Olas means waves in Spanish. Las Olas Boulevard is probably the most popular street in Fort Lauderdale with a booming business district, restaurant, nightlife scene, and the gateway to the famous beaches. Constructed in 1917 as a dirt road, but the modern commercial segment of Las Olas was constructed during the post-World War.
All right, here we are. We're with Michael Strassel. Michael, how do you say your last name? Strassel, like tassel. Never a hassle with good old Mike Strassel. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> We're going to get ready to go out. We've got about 18 of our team leaders, our agents, and I know that you know everything about boating and yachting. I have been doing this for 45 years professionally. Wow. I've always been in boats. It's my passion, it's my love, and what I love doing is teaching people how to do it properly with a return on their investment that makes some kind of sense. So Michael, we're in the real estate business. We've got a lot of people out there looking to relocate into this area. Boating's a big part of that. So somebody that's interested in yachting, what's the first thing you will ask them? How many people would they like to bring with them? What are their intended destinations? What's roughly their lifestyle budget that they're operating with now? So we can figure if we're looking for a lovely 25 foot boat or a lovely 125 foot yacht. This yacht is valued currently around $6 million. The same yacht, brand new, is $15.5 million. You were telling me that you take these yachts over to the Bahamas? Well, the owners of them are certainly buying them for the opportunity to set their, their own course for freedom. And because I have that experience, so I'm able to travel with them aboard their yacht, get them to the marina, I can check in on them. They're operating it themselves. They feel their freedoms. They get their self-confidence. I ride home with them. And then the next trip they might do on their own. Or I do rendezvous where I would run a lead yacht and 25 yachts follow me. That gives them the confidence to go on. So you're not just in the yachting business. I think you're in like the personal uh, experience and, and everything. A thousand percent. I am a concierge. I'm on call all the time to make yachting a pleasure as part of their lifestyle. And we're able to really enrich people's lives. And what else is it about? Well, I'll tell you, you've done that already today just with the 18 of us. For me, meeting your staff was energetic to me. Gosh, you must really enjoy working with that group of people. We've got a great team. We've got over 1,670 agents. We've got over 1,000 employees. And uh, this was a special day for all of us. And really, thank you for uh, helping us out today. It was enjoyable. And thanks for all you do for everybody. All right, cats, here we are, look at us. We're in Gulfstream Park, so we're gonna watch some races today, but there's so much entertainment here in the Gulf. There's so much to do here in the Fort Lauderdale area. Don't forget, it's not all about the beaches. There's so much to do here. We showed you a little bit about that today, and we can't wait to show you the rest of it. What a great day we've had here in the Fort Lauderdale area. I live in Orlando, but I love coming down here and seeing everything that they have to offer. What a great day we've had. Coming up next, you're gonna see the Robert Slack listings right here in the Fort Lauderdale area. Here to your American dream. One Ten Ibisca Terrace in Royal Palm Beach, Florida, is the largest model of all homes in Bellaterra. Come and experience approximately 4,000 square feet of living space. This six-bedroom and four-bath home features a great open concept floor plan with spectacular volume ceilings and marble floors. The kitchen is purpose-built for entertaining and is well-equipped with solid surface countertops, backsplash, and stainless steel appliances. Moving into the owner suite, you have coffered ceilings and a remarkable bathroom with an enormous shower, oversized bathtub, and dual 
vanities. This property boasts a three car garage and a spectacular outdoor living space with a lake view. All of this located in Bellaterra community, highlighting a community pool, tennis courts, a kiddie playground, basketball court, fully equipped gym, and more with a very affordable HOA fee of just $195 per month. Steps away from Park Avenue, this beautiful townhome is situated right in the heart of downtown Winter Park. 290 West Lyman Avenue in Winter Park, Florida is a stunning three bedroom, three bath property, thoughtfully designed, boasting luxury upgrades worthy of paying attention to. Upon entering, you'll experience the beautifully designed open floor plan featuring 10 foot ceilings, wide plank engineered flooring, plantation style shutters, ceiling speaker system, crown molding, inset lighting, nest thermostats, and so much more. You will enjoy countless nights cooking for your family in this newly renovated kitchen with high end stainless steel appliances featuring a glass front sub-zero refrigerator, gas cooktop with built-in convection oven and microwave. The living room offers flexible ease of living and entertainment space featuring a custom wine bar. The owner's retreat highlights nine foot tray ceilings, custom built walk-in closets, and a luxurious newly renovated master bath with dual vanity custom cabinets and an oversized shower. Step out onto your private enclosed courtyard where you will find a beautiful summer kitchen. This lanai features features upgraded tongue and groove ceiling and an extensive brick paver patio with walkways and a pergola. The perfect space. Experience the reality of living in luxury with this amazing townhome and all that Winter Park Luxury Living has to offer. 250 Sunny Isles Boulevard, number 207 in Sunny Isles Beach, Florida is a turnkey townhome in St. Tropez. This bright, beautifully renovated unit is a two bed, two bath, plus a den that can be converted into a three bedroom. This unit has been professionally decorated with gorgeous furniture and is accented with high ceilings and features beautiful water views. You will appreciate the large built-in closets, an upgraded open kitchen, stunning white floors throughout the unit, and marble in the bathrooms. You will live the Florida lifestyle with the resort-like amenities and just a few steps from the beach. story home located at 5183 Northwest 25th Way in Boca Raton, Florida is approximately 2,444 square feet and has a westerly view flooding the entire living space with sunlight yet easy to cool with the new energy efficient windows. Recently completely renovated including solid surface flooring, an amazing modern black and white kitchen and stainless appliances, fabulously designed bedrooms and bathrooms. This home also has a new roof, all new hurricane glass windows and doors, a new AC and water heater. This home is walking distance to the club, pools, gym, spa, tennis, golf, and restaurants. With the new Broken Sound Country Club multi-million dollar renovation being completed this fall, now is the perfect time to buy. Best of all, it's a very short drive to the beach.